Hey guys, so this week we're going to talk about the Gaslight Anthem Singles Collection 2008 to 2011. Now, when this came out, uh, I I jumped on it immediately because uh, I I know I love the Gaslight Anthem. I love 45s, and this seemed to be a, a once in a lifetime opportunity. But I thought it was going to be like really rare and stuff like that. But you can pick it up really cheap everywhere on Discogs or something. Or you used to be able to do the last time I checked. But what it is, is it's nine seven-inch singles uh, with um, exclusive B-sides and things like that. So it comes in this nice, cool cardboard box, which, <laughs> uh, to protect it. But wait till you see what's inside. If you haven't seen this already, then you're probably going to love it. So, yeah, let's get stuck into it. So taking it out here, out of the box... There it is. It's a nice wooden box. And um, it's, yeah, it's pretty heavy. So you basically open this up and inside you get the records. You also get a adapter to play the 45s, which I've not taken out of the plastic because I've got like tons of these things. But that's pretty cool. Um, so you get one of those. You get a download card that uh, I've used, uh, which basically downloads all the singles and their B-sides. So, um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool to have that for when you are using a iPod or something like that. And, um, yeah. So anyway, let's go through these. They're not on coloured vinyl. They're all on standard black vinyl. Uh, they still look cool, though. So we start with the 59 sound. These are probably not in the order that they came in because I've listened to these tons of times. But you start with the 59 sound, uh, which is a fantastic song. And on the B side, you get the State of Love and Trust, live at Webster Hall in New York City. So there you go. I'll put that there. Boxer, which is... Uh, another great song. All these songs are great, so I can sit there and say that they're all great, but we all know that they're great. On the B side, you get an acoustic version of it. So, like the cover art, pretty cool. Um, but there you go. It's these labels, I like the, the look of their labels, they're really, really cool. And there we go in. You got the Spirit of Jazz, which is awesome. And the B side of the Spirit of Jazz is the Queen of Lower Chelsea Acoustic. So it's pretty awesome. American Slang, which it's a great song. I remember the first time I heard American Slang, it kind of really like, I wasn't expecting to hear it, but I heard it on mainstream commercial radio, which totally blew my mind because uh, that's not something I was expecting to hear on the radio. And I just heard it while I was out in the shop. And there it came on the radio, and I was like, holy shit, what? That sounds like Gaslight Anthem. They can't be on the radio, and then I realized it was them. So, anyway, you get an acoustic version of American Slang on the B-side. And so, yeah, once again, cool labels, etc. So, then we got The Great Expectations, one of my favorite songs on the record. So, that's awesome. On the B-side, you get acoustic at KEXP of Great Expectations. So, again, the, the label's there. And you get a, a single called The B-Sides. Now, I remember they did release an LP called The B-Sides. I think it has the same cover uh, cover art, but I didn't bother to get it because I've, I've got all the songs anyway. But, yeah, Once Upon a Time and She Loves You. So, uh, pretty cool. But I think She Loves You came on the Japanese CD or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. And then Old White Lincoln, which is a, a great song as well. I love the, the artwork on these, re these records. The artwork is Classic Americana, which I'm a big fan of uh, Classic Americana. The 50s, uh, that, that sort of era, you know... Um, drive-ins and, and all that sort of stuff so uh, I like American pop culture um, so yeah none of these singles from memory have inner sleeves I don't think no inserts I mean so the Diamond Church Street Choir on the B side Antonia Jane 
so very very cool acoustic again a KEXP and the last record is stay lucky so there we go with the b-side tumbling dice fantastic cover of the Rolling Stones classic um, I think they also released tumbling dice as a 45 itself maybe I can't remember I know I've got it but yeah but either way there we go that's a look at the Gasler Anthem uh, 7 inch box set now like I said it comes in this nice old wooden box and yeah it's heavy so when I bought it I, I bought it and I had it sent to a friend in California and because uh, the, the weight of it the postage was going to cost me way too much so I wasn't prepared to spend that sort of money but you know I had friends that were able to help me out and so I got it sent there and then when I went to America in 2012 I picked it up from their house and it was like Christmas so there we go my friends Gaslight Anthems Singles Collection 2008 to 2011 uh, solid band uh, and a solid collection of songs I was always bummed out that they split but the last time I saw them live uh, here in Melbourne they actually seemed really like it just seemed like a chore for them to get through the gig uh, it was kind of weird it, it, there was a strange vibe on stage it just wasn't the greatest show but the times I saw them before that uh, they were absolutely fantastic they, I saw them at Soundwave Festival and I saw them at the, the club show they did with um, Social Distortion and they were fantastic each night they were just incredible and they were on fire and it was like these guys were hungry and we're just ready to rock and they did it but yeah that last show really really was just a downer I was kind of bored actually uh, it's a shame but anyway Gaslight Anthem are a fantastic band the records are awesome I highly recommend uh, checking them out if you have not done so yet uh, and check out Brian Fallon's solo albums uh, they're really good too so and obviously the side project they did the Horrible Crows was good as well Excellent. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back again next week with another unboxing video. I'm not sure what it will be yet. Could be Venom, could be Black Sabbath, could be whatever. It could be Iggy Pop. Could, I don't know. I'll have to go into my archives and pull out a box, and we'll have a look at it together. Cheers, guys. You can subscribe if you want. I'm not one of those guys that are all like, oh, you know, subscribe to me, hit the like button, all that. You know, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. If you care about these things, you'll watch it. So awesome thanks guys take care and uh yeah peace